In my InfraWorks model, I've imported the property limit lines of our project site, sketched in some roads, and graded the building site area. I'm now ready to import this design data into Civil 3D. I'm going to do this so I have a terrain surface from which to coordinate the building location and elevation. I'll start by creating a new drawing using the Imperial template. It's important to maintain the same drawing units in each file so as to not run into any geometry scaling issues when converting from one format to another, in this case InfraWorks to Civil 3D or Civil 3D to Revit or vice versa. When I browse to my InfraWorks model, I'll be prompted to set a coordinate system since the default Civil 3D template does not have a coordinate system already applied. Notice that as I select the option to use the coordinate system from the InfraWorks model, nothing changes in Civil 3D. This is because I still have the InfraWorks model open. I wanted to point this out as this is a common issue and can be easily overlooked and also frustrating. The solution is simple. Either open a different model or close InfraWorks altogether. I'm going to close InfraWorks and repeat the import process. This time you can see right away that the dialog is different, indicating that Civil 3D was in fact able to successfully read the InfraWorks model data. Before importing the InfraWorks model, you can map objects such as surfaces, pipe networks, and more to match your company standards. You can save these mappings as a template for future imports. After I import the InfraWorks model data for my specified area of interest, I'll create a combined surface that I'll use for coordinating the location of the building. After saving my Sybil drawing to my Autodesk Construction Cloud project, I'll then publish the combined surface to the Construction Cloud as well. The published surface can be linked into Revit as a new topo solid object and ensuring you always have the latest finished grade surface in your architectural model.